Good morning. Good evening. I've been watching a Ghost Town Living on YouTube. A pretty interesting guy that bought a Union Mine. He's quite a man, I say, in many ways, I think. When I think about that location, Saragota, wonderful, beautiful ghost town. A beautiful town, so mining town. With a lot of history behind it. I mean, I talk a lot of history. Well, recently, some a person broke a stained glass window at St. Patrick's Church there. And the lead, lead the use in stained glass window came from the mine. They identified, even identified the mine to where it came from. Identified to be the Saragota mine in um, Union Mine in Saragota. Was using kind of lead silver galena. And the problem is that they had to get hands on the on the lead bar needed but well, I think they got got their hands on it, I guess they got it ordered from somewhere. Well the church did order it. <laughs> guess while well, I may order it from Saragota through my wonderful YouTube person. I know I seen on YouTube a great I'm a heavy fan of his on YouTube. I love his you no know, YouTube videos and I really you know, great, and I really love that, you know, he had some wonderful video, time spent like a couple of days, you know, I, could, I couldn't do that, you know, honestly, someday myself, I would love to get up to Saragoda, get down that part of California, Death Valley to Saragoda, and just visit him, and, and stay in one of his, stay in American Hotel, or stay in a minor, you know, bunkhouse, something like that, I, you know, something I never done in my life, it would be interesting even for me to do that, but, you know, I probably could operate a hoist, you know, I, if I know how to, I could, I'm looking at other guys, you know, look at that man, at, at, at Bardoza, who went down 900 levels of the, of the, the mine, uh, and the guy operating the hoist, you know, it's just a matter of gaze, and watch your hydraulic pressure, watching your hoist, and all that. I mean, honestly, what I think happening where the hoist is jamming in the shaft there around that 700, I really got a compression from the uh, of surface. A uh, surface compression can cause it to jam. There are a couple of ways you can fix it. Number one is to bring a car down that far and reinforce that area take a reinforce the, the shaft in that area for extra timber totally reinforce it and make reinforcement and then you're doing is you and then replacing though replacing the wooden rail with the metal running rail for you what you use in modern day elevator is a metal rail you can always replace the old wooden run rail with a solid metal one all the way down, you know, maybe you could, another one, contacting an elevator service company to do regular service on your lift, like, two, so it would work on regular, you could put a control inside a lift, for so this way you can pull it down and pull and go up another way and stop in the middle, would be a good for you, another idea, too, and I thought of that, you know, but it weren't for mining like lead or galena, it would not have lead for a stained glass window in the shirt. It weren't for Saragota. Now, it weren't for Saragota, it weren't for Union Mine, you know, in the heyday. You think of other products. Like, like he, he always mentioned about silverware. This silver from this thing, this is a piece of vintage silverware from quite a few years back. And I had carbon dated the silver in this. And guess what? A date, guess where the carbon date of this silver, this spoon made out of? It made out of uh, lead galena. And lead galena identified, and already identified through McMaster University Science Department, identified right down to uh, around Death Valley, identified it being Union Mine, you know. 
near Kayla, near the town that you identified it, identified this product was produced by Galena by a, let, a silver that was sold by Union Mine in, in 18 and 1922, actually. The product is sold, and this is actually end product of, of the Saragota Mine right here. This is actually real silver. And the silver was identified, I had this identified, and it was from the Saragota mine, your mine, down in Saragota. Hey, you know, went for that mining, there are a lot of things. So mining is important. We're, even to even look at an assayer office in the mine. Now, they weigh an assay the ore to make it, you know, to, to get the value of it. Yes. Now, right there, that would have been necessary, would have valued the oil that made that, that piece of silver worth. Now, you know, we think about it. Even today, the modern mines of the day, they have assayers. But not like you would see, not like the old days, like that. Even if they're taking lead, glean of oil in the modern day mine today somewhere, you know what? They will have mess there. They will take that, but it be done through a major uh, factory, go through a big computerized system to bring a Kalina in and they go through a roasting process on the semi line. After it roasted out, it comes to silver. Then it goes through another thing called a separator. The silver is totally all separated from the lead. The lead is produced into bars and sold as lead be used in many things out there to require lead like bullets gun any missing assault guns require lead tip bolts a military weapon require a lead tip on them too like bombs so honestly when you look at that you're looking at you know um, lead so yes in all modern day process today so yes they're necessary but it more like and a semi-line type of essay, you know, you know, you know, they don't do it like the way they, where you see it, where you saw it, but they do it totally different today. Even in Sudbury, Ontario, got the nickel mine, where all the nickel mines in there, and they make mine the most booming business in in, in, in Ontario, Canada. It's like who's big, you know, nickel mine. It, Great, and they, they never ran out of nickel yet, and they're still mining today. Nickel out of Subway. Called the Inco, still mining nickel out there today, and they got an Esser's office there. I've seen that one, and I know, I admit, it's beautiful and nice looking, but all very modern. It's a uh, go in, they got an office in the front with a computer. You walk into where the Esser is, they got a big control board. And it goes through a big semi line. The oil goes in, go through a semi line, it get heated up, and it get heated into a nickel bars. At the other end, it comes nickel bar. And the way all nickel weighed on a computer, and the computer totals up the amount. It totals up the values of the uh, of the oil. Once the oil is all totaled on the computer, that total then is sent. It's registered into the um, it's automatically registered and all that. As soon as it registered, then from there into and the registered during the profit registered into the mine owner operator registered a profit there. And then one one profit of, of the take it registered from the oil registered in, in and it take it all money it made. Once then it sold off to a federal government. Then it go to uh, the auto, go to the mint where they make the money, where they print and make the nickels. So when they would take the nickels, what did they do? They roll off the nickel into, um, guess what? They roll the nickel off. Once they roll the nickel into, um, then, they, then they start producing the nickels. And the nickel go to the bank and it ends up in the wallet eventually, see? Now... But that is a very, that modern day operation in Subway. I mean, when I look at what you got there, that's an old day operation of the old day. 
Matter of fact, St. Patrick Struza even bought two bars of lead galena, uh, two bars of the sober lead. And I, they, you no, know, I think I know we got them. And I say they were lead bars bought from, I said, I looked, I'd seen them. That's their gold on them too. So they were from, they were lead bars in a warehouse in the States that they already found them. They found the warehouse had a, quite quite a few of them in in um, in their California. For they ordered up about fifteen of them through a warehouse down there. That they they said they were happy had them sit in a warehouse for over fifty years. Had them sit in a warehouse over eighty years, and they just were just happy getting them off the floor and make the space. So bought bought a lot off. The warehouse that had some in stock for many old, had some new old stock sitting there, and they able they bought them. They arrived, and you know they usually make the lead bar. And I'm not too bad, but they paid a lot of money. They could have, they could know they could have done. They could as soon as they ordered them from you and said they got, but they leave old stock bars in the warehouse in Los Angeles from Saragossa Basin. So that's pretty off. That's pretty bad too. Anyways. Okay, well, that silver, Matt Spoon, act of silver came from that mine. Not any other mine, your mine, Mr. Agoda. Blog over.